Should you buy the brand new Dell XPS 15 7590 or should you buy the older iterations of the Dell XPS 15 to save yourself a little cash? Let's talk about that right now. This video is sponsored by Hostinger. Hostinger's goal is to make the fastest web pages for their clients. They believe if you're not first, you're last. And in order to be first, you have to be fast. And this could not be more true about their service. I was up and running with a new site in a matter of minutes and their support team is first class, ready to answer any questions I had. Curating an online presence is essential to growing your graphic design business or landing your dream job. With the most affordable plans and top performance in the industry, Hostinger is the go-to hosting provider to get you online fast. Head on over to see if your desired domain name is available and get signed up today. More information and links in the description below. Hey, what's going on? Benji Kaiser here. And if you're new to the channel, this is the place to find the best tech and tools for graphic designers and creative professionals. So if that sounds like your kind of place, consider subscribing and mash down on that bell notifier so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. Today, we're talking about the brand new Dell XPS 15 7590 versus the older iterations of the Dell XPS 15. Personally, I still use a 9560 on my day-to-day -day graphic design and video editing needs, and it works very well for me. But let's talk about the comparisons between the models to see which one you should buy. Whether you're getting into the industry for the first time or trying to upgrade your gear, you gotta make a choice and you wanna make the right one. The first thing I wanna talk about is the specs. So looking at the two models that I'm comparing today, we have the Dell XPS 15 7590 with the Intel 9th generation 8 core i9-9980HK and we have the 32 gigs of RAM, the NVIDIA GTX 1650 graphics processing unit, and one terabyte of solid state hard drive. Gotta take a breath on that one. All right, next for the Dell XPS 15 9560, this is a 2017 model. We have the Intel seventh generation four core i7 7700HQ. 32 gigs of RAM, the NVIDIA GTX 1050 graphics processing unit, and 512 gigs of solid state hard drive. As we're going through this video, if you're curious about the exact models I'm talking about, I am talking about a few different models and specifications. You can head down into the description below and grab one of those links. That is an affiliate link, so if you do make a purchase through one of those links, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. And that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. As you see, we have two substantially different machines as performance is concerned. We have two whole years worth of improvements and upgrades. We have two whole generations in the processor, and we have a vast difference in the graphics processing unit, the 1050 versus the 1650. Let's dive into some real life tests to take a look at these two models and see how their performance ranks up against one another. I'm gonna take a nine minute 4K clip and then export it out into 4K settings. This on the Dell XPS 15 7590 takes six minutes and 48 seconds. On the older Dell XPS, the 9560, this takes nine minutes and 42 seconds. So you're gonna save about three minutes with that i9 processor. So as you may be wondering, as I was, why does that i9 not go even faster than the i7. It's only three minutes. That doesn't seem like a substantial amount of time savings. Well, we're gonna talk about that in just a little bit in this video, so hang on as we walk through the rest of these specs. If you wanna save a little bit of time and you wanna export to 1080p from 4K on that nine minute clip, it'll take two minutes and 29 seconds on the 7590, and it will take two minutes and 51 seconds on the 9560. Again, an even closer time between those two on the 1080p export. Now let's take 100 raw photo files, import them into Photoshop, into Camera Raw. How long does that take? A lot of times when I'm editing photos, I put them into Camera Raw, process them, and then send them out to be exported for say the internet, for print, whatever it might be. So when I bring them into Camera Raw, it took 21 seconds on the 7590 and it took 25 seconds on the 9560. The last test I'm gonna do is take one of those raw photo files, boost it up to two gigs, and then save it out at full quality JPEG. It took 11 seconds on the 7590, and it took 20 seconds on the 9560. Now, these tests may not sound like a huge deal as far as time is concerned. 
10 seconds, 20 seconds, 11 seconds. It's not a lot of time, but remember, this is only 100 raw files. Imagine if you go on a wedding shoot and you have 4,000 images you have to process and click through, or you're doing a product shoot, or you're doing a big video editing project that is an hour long, not just nine minutes long. That's where these numbers really start to matter. These numbers could turn into 45 minutes, to two hours, to three hours. So these little performance increments can be a big deal on an exponential scale. I just wanted to give you some basic numbers to really put your mind around in order to understand which machine is better. Now, as promised, why is the Dell XPS 15 7590 only a little bit faster, even though it has two generations and an i9 behind it? Okay, so what we're seeing here is a problem that we saw in even last year's iteration of the Dell XPS 15, and that's thermal throttling and thermal heating. So what we're seeing is as the machine starts to edit the video, as it gets hot, 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 hotter, it starts to throttle down the performance of that CPU and kick on the fans. And we're gonna listen closely between the two fans running as they're exporting that video. And so you can see the noise difference. Here we go. All right, so as you see, they're both pretty noisy. The 9560 is a little bit louder because it's taking a little bit more power with that weaker CPU and GPU. But as you notice, the i9 in the 7590 is almost as loud and it gets almost as hot. So what they have to do to keep them at the same temperature is throttle back that i9 so it doesn't overheat, which decreases the performance of the i9. So with that in mind, you're getting very close performance, in my opinion, for a vastly different price point. Okay, with that in mind, let's keep moving forward. And a little bit later in the video, I'm gonna make some recommendations to whether you're a graphic designer or video editor or another creative professional, which model you should get or which iteration. Let's next talk about the differences in the build. So the first big thing is they've improved the Wi-Fi card. That is amazing because the Wi-Fi card in the model that I have, if I walk 10, 15 feet away from the internet hub, I start to lose reception and my internet drops substantially. On the new model, they put in a new Wi-Fi card and it does not do that. It is very, very good reception. So I can walk across the house, across the office, wherever I might be, and the internet reception stays relatively high. I mean, if you're you know, 100 yards away, yeah, it's, it's gonna drop off or you won't even be able to find it at that point. So it's not that good, but it is a great improvement. Next is they move the webcam from the bottom of the bezel to the top of the bezel. You know, people are no longer staring up your nose, no longer seeing your fingers type on the keyboard. That's a very big improvement. They're promising a substantially better battery life, but as we all know, as creative professionals, as soon as you put these computers under any pressure, that battery life drops substantially. They're promising 10 to 20 hours, depending on the model you get. Promising 20 hours on the full HD model with the i7 processor, and then they're promising, you know, 10 hours with the 4K model. The issue with that is they're talking about browsing the internet or using word processors like Word or Excel, something basic like that, just work tasks. And so not, that doesn't give you a fair comparison. If you're gonna be a graphic designer, if you're gonna be doing work like that in Photoshop, InDesign, or Illustrator, or you're gonna be video editing, then you're gonna get substantially less battery life. So with the new i9 4K, you're probably gonna get maybe six hours out of that battery life. If you wanna get more battery life, I'd recommend getting the i7 with the full HD screen, which would get you probably around eight to 10 hours. Now, I'm not making any promises there. These are estimations on what the model I have has been doing, as well as comparisons to the 9560. The 9560, I get about five hours of battery life if I'm not working really hard on the machine. Both models that I have here have the 4K touchscreen display. You can get the new OLED display in 4K on the 7590. However, I don't see that as really necessary as the 4K touchscreen is super sharp, 100% color accuracy, um, really great contrast. So I think the 4K touchscreen display is a great choice. All right, so which model should you choose? I'm gonna start with the 7590. Personally, if I were to buy this again, I would not get the i9. I would get the i7 with 32 gigs of RAM. The reason being is the thermal throttling. The machine gets really hot, it has to throttle down, decreasing the performance, giving the i7 almost as much, if not equal to performance. So you can save some money, save some heat, and you'll be happy with that machine. Now, if we're talking about the Dell XPS 15 9560 versus the new 7590, that's gonna be a bit of a toss up and let's talk about why. 
if you're somebody who's gonna be doing primarily graphic design, then you're gonna be completely satisfied with the 9560. You could probably get away with 16 gigs of RAM, the i7 processor, and it's gonna run really smooth, really fast. If you're gonna be getting into video editing, the newer model will have that better GPU to give you a little bit more performance to balance out the power usage between the processor and the GPU. Like I said, I'd get the i7. So if you're gonna be editing 4K, if you're gonna be doing some animation on the go, the new 7590 is a great buy. Now, the one reason that I would pull somebody from the 9560 to the 7590 is that new internet card. That's gonna save you a lot of headaches with trying to find good internet reception. All right, if you're curious about the exact prices and models that I've been discussing here in this video, you can head down in the description below, grab one of those links. That is an affiliate link, so I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But that's what keeps this channel alive and this helpful content coming your way. If you have any questions, please comment below. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com, and I'll see you here on the next episode.